Hi, YouTube. So, I want to do the, discuss the Malia Davis case. Yeah, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. So, I am in Houston, and I've been wondering, like everybody else, you know, what's going on. Where is she? I'm surprised they hadn't found her yet and everything. So, initially, Cornell X was representing the mom in the case. And everybody was mad at him. Why he representing her? And I don't know. But, like, I was saying, if you check his track record, it's a lot of people that reach out to him. And he's not necessarily, he says he represents them. But if you really look, he convinced a lot of them people to turn their damn self in. Or, like, one year, it's a guy from New Orleans. He threatened a baby mom, which was his wife, and told her he, killed, he was going to kill the kids. So he ended up killing his kids, but nobody knew where the kids were. And he wasn't talking to nobody. And he reached out to Quanell X. They reached out to Quanell. Why? I don't know. But he reached out to Quanell X. You know, Quanell X, I think. He know how to manipulate their ass. So, eventually, he told Quanell that he had burnt those kids up, and he had them in a suitcase, like, in this little lake. So, Quanell asked him to show him where the kids were. And he took them out there, and he was like, I think they kind of fucked Quanell up, because he pretty much said it did. He never saw nothing like that before in his life. But that's how they found the kids and everything. So, like, with Malia Davis, you know, he was, like, he was representing her mom. He was, like, to be honest, she was not the same way, you know, off camera. She was, like, nonchalant, like, she didn't care. He said she knew what happened to the little girl, but he don't think she knew where she was at. Hence to why the stepdad was charged with, uh, what you call it, tampering with a corpse or something. And I think that's why his bond dropped. And I think he was in the process of working with the prosecution, too. That's why they dropped his bond down like they did and ch dropped his charges down. So I'm still waiting on the charge this mom. And I'm trying to figure out, like, the dad was in the process of getting the little girl, but why would they even let her stay with her mom in general? Like, with those pictures with uh, both of her eyes closed up, well, she been hitting her eyes, and the fact that they had to remove part of her skull because she had this weird-ass head injury, and they claim she fell down. I don't know. It's too much. It's sad. That poor baby. And then the picture with the trash bag, and everybody had, like, that. you could see the face in the trash bag. That was her because the stepdad took them to Arkansas, he told him he threw the he put the body in the bag and threw it on the side of the road in Arkansas, and that's exactly where they went. Got her. She was still in the bag, and it was like it was blood and tissue in there. So that picture with him with that basket with her little face showing, yeah, that was her. It's sad, and they say they were under CPS and they weren't even doing any of the things that CPS told them to do, and they were still allowed to keep the kids unsupervised. It's saying a lot. Some people's like, well, yeah, it's CPS fault. But well, we know the mama ain't shit, so somebody got to look out for the babies. And it's just sad. This little girl went through a lot in her four years. It's, that's ridiculous. And them, her mama really do look like she don't give a fuck, like, when she was coming out that courtroom, they was calling her ass a murderer. She's standing behind Cornell Liz looking crazy. You know, when they went to the uh, boyfriend. Oh, excuse me, I'm sleepy. Try, but when you see the, those pictures of that baby, it's so sad. It's like, just looking at him, how could you let her stay with her mom? And all this going on. And then when her and to be honest with you, like all the scratches and stuff, oh, this is what I think happened. Let me tell y'all what I think happened. What I think happened, she looked like she could be a, a, abusive. 
Cause there's some women that's abusive to men. That's that's a, she get me like she abusive. And you saw how he had all them scratches and stuff on him. I think because they were saying he got busted for tr- uh, being able to do trade or whatever, sending booty pictures or something, but old pictures. I think he got caught cheating again with trade. She found out. She was in there beating him up because all them scratches and stuff on him. That little girl did not do that. He scratched from his neck to his stomach to his back. That little girl ain't do that. She was in there whipping his ass. And the little baby got in the way. They probably hit her or something. She fell and she probably hit her head. Because you notice on the video, she didn't have her helmet on. She didn't have no... What? Sorry, hold on, hold on. What you want? Sorry about that, my daughter. She learning some history lessons. And got her really in her got her really in her feelings. But yeah. I think she did that and I think the little girl probably was in the way and actually then got hit. And you know by because you know they say they never they don't have no evidence of her leaving the house that weekend. And she claimed she was going to her dad's funeral, that was a month before this shit happened. So I'm thinking she was he she was whooping him she was be beating him up. She was in there beating him up and accidentally hit that little girl some kind of way. They hit her and she hit her head because he said it was an accident. And she told him, you better do something about it because, you know, she tell him what to do. This is what I think. That probably ain't what happened, but I don't know. I just think the whole thing is sad and fucked up. That she had to go through that in her little short four years of her life and then was on the side of the road for a whole month. And he knew she was there. The mama knew she was dead. And it's crazy because she really nonchalant. Like they say, how you see on camera, somebody said she covers her eyes up and just hunch her shoulders like this. I never paid no attention. Then after I heard that, I, I, was, I would look whenever they show her, and that's exactly what she does. So, tell me what you think. Yeah. Little baby, she ain't got to suffer no more because that was so fucked up with the, sh- the shit she was enduring at her young age. But, yeah. This is my thoughts on it. Yeah. I'm glad they finally got Because I had kind of to the conclusion they weren't going to never find her body. I thought he had burned it up since they had found the gasoline and the clothes basket and stuff in the car. But apparently they want the case and they trash bag that was in the little laundry basket with the face showing that was her and I'm going to post the pictures in my video of that poor baby and um, yeah tell me what you think bye